Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are looking at the palindrome number problem, which is the question number 9 on lit code. It's an easy question and it's one of the classics for coding interviews. Before we begin guys, I would like to give you a hint for that might track your interviewer's attention. So the word palindrome is originated from the Greek word palindromos, which stands for running back again. But of course, in English, a word or a number is a palindrome when it reads both the same both from backward and forward. Anyways, enough with the linguistic guys, let's dive into the problem. Alright, so given an integer x will need to return true if x is a palindrome number. An integer is a palindrome number when it reads the same backward or for, uh, as forward. For example, 1 to 1 is a palindrome, while 1 to 3 is not. Now, we are given three straightforward examples here, as we can see. So, the example number 1 states that our input is 1 to 1, and we return true because 1 to 1 reads as 1 to 1 from left to right and from right to left. Sweet. I don't think that I need to explain anything here. So example 2. We are given with an input of minus 1 to 1 and we return false. And that happens because minus 1 to 1 uh, from left, sorry, so that happens because from left to right it reads minus 1 to 1, but from right to left it becomes 1 to 1 minus. Yeah, that's straightforward. And the last example is example number 3, and uh, the input is the number 10, and we return false because it reads 10 from left to right and 0, 1 from, from right to left. Okay, cool. So I can think of two solutions here, guys. The first one is to reverse the number and make a comparison between the given number and the reversed one. But I think that there is a more optimal solution. So that's going to be if we work with a left and a right pointer. Yeah, OK, let's move to the board. I think it's going to become way more easier. So let's make an assumption that we have that log number here. OK, it might sound a bit ridiculous, but uh, let's work on that hypothetical case. So we've got the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm going to create the left pointer, which is going to be that one, and the right pointer, which is going to point to that one. Cool. So now, guys, we need to create a loop. So I'm going to go, let's say, for a while loop because pointers work really well with while loops. And uh, as we loop through that string, let's call it S. What we have to do is to check whether the current, no, sorry, not the current, the element of the string that the pointer left points to, if it's different than the element of the string that the pointer right, right points to. And if that happens, we need to break out of the loop. If that never happens, though, after the loop, we need to just return true. Sweet. I think that's a really easy approach to go ahead. And if we open up the actual problem, it's going to become easier as we move on. So what I'm going to do firstly is check for the edge case where we have a negative number. And if we have a negative number, I'm going to return false. Because as we saw in example two, if we have a negative number, it's going to read differently from right to left and from 
left to right. Cool. So after that, uh, something important that we need to do uh, is to convert our integer number to a string. And in order to do that, I'm going to use the toString function from JavaScript. And uh, now it's the time for our pointers. So if we go to let, let, I'm using a let variable here because uh, the pointer left is going to change position. So I'm going to start the pointer left from the position zero and the pointer right from the position x dot length minus one. And of course, that's the last position in the array, sorry, in the string. Cool. So now what's left to do is to create a, a while loop. And the condition that I'm going to uh, set up here is while, sorry, that was a typo. And the condition that I am going to set up here, it's going to be left less than right. And as we said, the only thing that we need to do is to check whether the element that the pointer left points to is different than the element that the pointer right points to. And if that happens, we return false. If nothing happens, if, if, that, uh, if that condition is never uh, successful, after the loop, I'm going to, to return true, because uh, that's going to be the case where we actually have a palindrome, guys. Alright, and bear in mind that because we've got a while loop here, we need to modify the, the values of left and right in the while loop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and add plus plus because if you remember from the board, the pointer left will move towards that direction and the pointer right is going to move towards this direction. So for the left we have plus plus and for the right we've got minus minus. Sweet. Let's run the code. <clears throat> yes, of course. I made a typo here. That's not S, that's X. Let's submit it now. Sweet. Yep. And that's all, to be honest, for this question. That was an easy question, guys. If you, if you want uh, that code, you can find that on my GitHub repository. I'm going to add the link down in the description. And if you like this video, give that a thumbs up, comment, share. And if you're a new user, please subscribe to my channel. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.